Okay, so today we're going to look at net, surface area, and volume. So when we're talking about this, we're talking about 3D uh, images, or 3D objects. So I'm just going to draw um, a box. So uh, excuse the bad drawing. Um, here's some box. Okay. It's not the best box in the world. This is a 3D box. Um, as in something that has three dimensions, like maybe this stack of post-it notes. It's got um, three different dimensions. It's got height, it's got width, and it's got depth. So height, width, and depth. And um, we're going to find out how we can measure two things in this today. We're going to learn the surface area, which is just the area of all the different sides. So we've got the area of this, 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 all the different sides. That would be the total surface area. And then the volume, so how much can this hold? Um, how much, what's the volume of this object? So to understand that, we need to first look at a net. So what is a net? And a net is just a 2D image of this 3D image. So they come in all different kind of shapes and sizes and different versions, but uh, here's one. So I'm gonna draw it out. It's gonna look very strange. Um, and then we've got this one and this one. So I'm going to say that this is the bottom side. So that would be this section here, the underneath. This is a side, a side, a side, and a side. And this is the top. So if you folded this all up together, you'd manage to make this. Now these come in all different shapes and sizes, loads of different configurations of different ones. But from this, we can measure the total surface area of something like this. So I'm gonna take uh, one of these examples. It's gonna take me a minute to draw. And what they usually do is they do these little dotted lines. And that means that's where they fold. So that's the fold lines. Um, so you know where, how, how a, a box comes together um, and basically it's pretty straightforward all you have to do is find the area of all these different sides and then just add that all together and it's pretty straightforward in the end uh, but it's a very common question that can come up so here we've got our box this is called A, B, C, D, E and F and they've given us a few different measurements so this here is five centimeters, this one. Uh, the top one up here is 10 centimeters. This one here is 10 centimeters. This one's nine centimeters. And where else we got? We've got a five centimeter here, a 10 centimeter here, and we've got a 10 centimeter here. Okay, so let's look at a few options. So we need to find the area of all these different kind of shapes on their own. So like A is a shape on its own, this little space. C, B, you know, all these different ones. And uh, we've got to work out the different areas. So let's go with the area of A. And the area of A, we know the area of, um, of any sort of a rectangle or square or anything is the length by the width. So that's one side by the other. We know nine is one, 10 is the other. So this would be nine times 10, which is equal to 90. And these are in centimeters, so it's centimeters squared, okay? Let's look at the area of B. So the area of B is, well, we know this is nine centimeters long because of this thing, because it's the same length as this side, right? But how long is this? This is something that I'll try, that'll they'll probably try and trick people with. We have not been told how long this is, but it's a box. So if it's a box, it'll probably be the same length as this one, this side, or this side, more likely. Because when we fold this over, these sides have to be the same. So it's gonna be, nine times five, which is 45 centimeters squared. Okay, uh, the area of C, they've given us all of that. So they've given us a five and a 10. So it's five by 10, which is 50 centimeters squared. Um, area of D, D they've said is 10 centimeters long here. And what is this length again? It's nine. So it's 10 by nine, which is 90 centimeters squared. Area of E, the area of E, let's see, it's up here, it's 10 centimeters, and they told us this is five. So it's at 10 by five, which is 
50 centimeters squared. As you can see, it's very repetitive stuff, this. Just to be careful of your calculations. And the area of F, well, this one's nine. We worked that out from over here. These are all nine, these ones. And this one's five, so it's nine by five. It's the same as B, 45 centimeters squared. And then the total surface area, just move these up. Um, the total surface area, total surface area is equal to all these added up. So 90 plus 45 plus 50 plus 90 plus 50 plus 45. And let's just do that on the calculator really quickly. 90 plus 45 plus 50 plus 90 plus 50 plus 45 is 370 and never forget your units centimeters squared so if we were measuring this in millimeters we obviously have a different answer but it'll have to be millimeters squared so never forget this uh, centimeter squared so now let's look at maybe the volume of an object okay so i'm going to turn this over let's have a look at a different um object so say we're given a box a square like this And we know that this measurement here is five centimeters. This one here is seven centimeters. And this one here, along here, is 10 centimeters. So this is called the width, this is called the length, and this is called the depth, okay? And to measure the volume, of any cuboid, so that means a, a cube looking object. So if it's got, it's a square or a rectangle that's in this kind of um, 3D version. It's just the length by the width by the depth. So just multiply them three together. So this one's gonna be 10 by five by seven, which is 10 by five by seven is 350. Now, what were my what were my um, units that I was using? I was using centimeters. This time, it's going to be centimeters cubed because it's a volume of a cube. The volume, so it's it's this area inside here. It's how much we can fit inside of this. It's three hundred and fifty centimeters centimeters cubed. Um, that's pretty much how you figure out both of those things. It's very straightforward, like. This probably is a little bit harder, but if we were to look at maybe figuring out from this how to measure the volume, let's try that out. So what we know is we've got this, the bottoms are a little bit longer. Um, so this is a very rough drawing, but let's call this top one A um, and the bottom one D. So what we know about um, A is that we've got it 10 centimeters. One of the sides is 10 centimeters because this side and this side are about 10 centimeters, right? So this is 10 centimeters, we'll call. There's one that's nine centimeters. This one here is nine centimeters, okay? Um, and where would that be? That would probably be down here. And then we've got five centimeters, which is this one here. So if you notice in these calculations, there's only ever three numbers, nine, 10, and five. They're all nines, tens, and fives. That's because it's what's called a regular um, rectangular solid. So it's got, reg it's, all the sides are kind of the same um, lengths. They're not all over the place, it's not jagged. So all we have to do is the volume is equal to 10 by five by nine, which is 10 by five by nine, which is 450 centimeters cubed okay so that's pretty much nets surface area and volume uh, it's pretty straightforward just have to figure out the the units are the big thing and making sure you realize where the different um sides are and what they relate to where they are on the picture um yeah so that's it